Mr. B, hey, good to see I, you. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> so Ed, we've been working together for 26 years. 26 years. Kind of exclusively just building waterfalls together. You know, yeah, we've right. a couple presentations here or there, but I would say in the last 10 years, we've probably only worked with each other 20 times. Yeah, literally. 30 times, right? Like yeah. you travel the country doing this stuff, travel the world doing this stuff. Yep. I build a lot back at home and travel here and there. And so it's kind of a fun, <laughs> <laughs> um, nostalgic moment for me, everybody. <laughs> Totally looking forward right? to this. So this so is cool awesome. So we have some massive, massive boulders, and I think we have just enough to get us started. <laughs> Kyle, I don't know how many times I've been asked, like, hey, have we ever found a treasure when digging? And I thought for sure out here in Utah we might find some dinosaurs or something, but I would have never guessed to hit the jackpot like this. Hey, good morning everybody. It's Brian from Team Aquascape. I am out here in Midway, Utah, just outside of uh, Park City, Utah, and we are gonna be doing an amazing project. When I say we, it's because it's a collaboration of several pond builders. We got Mark Hellman and his son, AJ, from Earth Energy. They've been a CAC for, gosh, I wanna say 22 years they've been doing this. Uh, originally out of California, they moved out here to Utah a couple years ago, and it's so nice to work with local CACs because they help us with stuff like tools and transits and shovels and wheelbarrows and emergency type stuff you know obviously we can't get on a plane with a bunch of shovels and knives and all of our other miscellaneous tools so it's so nice to have somebody here locally to help us with all that kind of stuff I've got Kyle from Timberworks he's a up-and-coming CAC and really looking to just learn as much as he possibly can so it's gonna be just fantastic and check out the scenery right just mountains all the way around us and so an incredible view it's gonna be an incredible project we're building about a hundred foot stream on a grade change of about 15 20 some feet so let's talk a little bit about the design before I show you guys the site so we're building this for h2 homes h2 homes is a high high-end builder out here do some incredible stuff really really love their style last time I was here nothing was here there wasn't a house there wasn't a foundation there was nothing so to come back in a few months and see how far they've gotten is pretty incredible but the one thing he really wanted to do is when he built this home every Everybody that came in through the front door, which I'm going to show you in a second, but everybody that came through the front door, he wanted to be greeted with a waterfall. So that's the front door right there. And as you walk in, there's these giant windows that look out this way. We are going to start a hundred foot stream and waterfall all the way up there, twisting, turning, twisting, turning, twisting, turning, finishing through about a six foot high waterfall right there, which is just going to look absolutely amazing. So we have a 3000 gallon pondless tank going down into the bottom we have three five to nines pushing up about 18 feet we have plenty of awesome stone you can see there's mark hellman Mark, tell them your company name real quick. Earth Energy Waterscapes. If you, Utah Pond Guy. If you, couldn't, if you couldn't hear him, he said Earth Energy Waterscapes Utah Pond Guy. And he gives you kind of a scale of the size. Now, Mark is eight foot tall. So you could... <laughs> is this lot 26? Uh, I'm not sure. No idea. <laughs> so we have some massive, massive boulders. And I think we have just enough to get us started. <laughs> so, again, starting up there, coming down through here. Mark has brought his son AJ out. It's so so awesome to team up with a local CAC. And Mark is not just a local CAC, he's been doing this for over 22 years. 22 years he's been working with Aquascape. He started out in California and uh, now he moved out here to beautiful Utah. And you can see behind me all the mountain ranges and everything else. So it is absolutely stunning. We're hoping to make it just that much more stunning in the next couple weeks. So the plan is to take Mark, his son AJ, Kyle over here out from Ohio. You guys might remember Kyle because Kyle and Garth with Timberworks came out and did an enormous amount of construction timber type construction in our retail store but he wanted to come out to learn some more he's an up-and-coming CAC super creative and pretty darn good operator so he said why not jump along in with us and uh, see if you can't give us a hand out here so he's gonna be our operator we're gonna see if we can't move some of these big boulders around so between Mark Kyle his son AJ and myself we're gonna go ahead and get started out here the Ed Ballou the pond professor is coming out a little bit later today and we'll probably meet up with him today 
tonight and we'll get uh, see if we can't put a big dent in this thing over the next five, six days. Hang on, because we are gonna take all of these boulders and over a short period of time, turn it into an incredible waterfall right over there. All right, so we've got so much of the stone already moved. Kyle's doing amazing. This little machine, not little, it's actually moving the rock way easier than I thought. I was concerned with the size of the machine we had. We were gonna be able to move some of these boulders, but we're getting into it. So we have a 100 block palmless waterfall system. That's about a 3,000 gallon, a little over a 3,000 gallon system going in. So we are gonna stack these things two aqua blocks high, which gives me 50 on top, 50 on the bottom. It's roughly about a 13 by 15 foot hole. So our next step is to start digging that hole get all the dirt soil put where we want it to go and then tomorrow when our aqua blocks show up we'll be ready for them so you can see mark and aj kind of laying things out what i did was i marked with that orange stone then we want that to be centered into our aqua block system so we have a 15 foot by 13 foot hole going in about three and a half feet deep we're going to take a lot of the soil and what i want to do is instead of keeping this as just a straight parallel ridge to the house actually create some contours with some of the soil like bring this in and out some different elevations. It'll just look so much better and really just kind of help blend in with everything else that's going on up here. Next step, dig, dig, dig. Kyle, I don't know how many times I've been asked, like, hey, have we ever found a treasure when digging? And I thought for sure out here in Utah we might find some dinosaurs or something, but I would have never guessed to hit the jackpot like this. Yeah, I just threw it down there. Oh. No, I'm just oh. <laughs> We did find Oh, there's two of them. There's Marks. But we did find a tape measure. So that's got to be like an ancient tape measure. <laughs> the chrome finish and yeah. Stanley of course. Still gotta crank it to close it, right? Yeah. Awesome. Hey, keep digging. All right, we've got our 15 foot by 13 foot hole dug about four feet down. This little area there is about seven feet. Right there, we're gonna dig it out. I don't have enough rock to get straight up seven feet, so you can see this orange line. Kyle's gonna start digging that out. That's gonna be the first waterfall coming in that way. Probably split it, put a big boulder there, and get another one in there. We're just waiting on our aqua blocks, and then we'll be able to finish this thing up. Mr. B, hey, good to see I, you. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> so Ed, we've been working together for 26 years. 26 years. Kind of exclusively just building waterfalls together. You know, yeah, right. a couple presentations here or there, but I would say in the last 10 years, we've probably only worked with each other 20 times. Yeah, literally. 30 times, right? Like yeah. you travel the country doing this stuff, travel the world doing this stuff. Yep. I build a lot back at home and travel here and there. And so it's kind of a fun, <laughs> <laughs> um, nostalgic moment for me, if you will. Totally looking forward right? to this. So it's this so is cool awesome. that the two of us are back out on a job site for together. Sure. What are your first thoughts as you see the job site or really even well, the surrounding first, area? First thing, well, obviously driving in here, unbelievable. Love the look of the mountains. You got these cool valleys. You got these little rivers and things cutting in between all that stuff, which is just tons of inspiration. Get you going about this. And then as you come walking up over here, you see this massive pile of boulders. So just some really, really cool rock coming from local quarries. Just going to create that really, really cool natural look. And then you walk into the back well first before i even got back here <laughs> you see the home i love the structure of the home really cool unique architecture looking forward to taking a walk on the inside looking out to see everything but once i got here in the back i mean look at that slope i mean this is the type of stuff that we dream of yeah. in the chicagoland marketplace you know you have a nice slope and it's not too steep it's not too flat it's going to give just enough of that elevation change over that little bit of run where you can tuck in some really cool little wing walls you know some rock outcroppings on the perimeter get in some planting areas and, and stuff and little wing still walls be probably dramatic. used loosely oh god yeah they're, they're gonna be three and a half four feet <laughs> tall no pretty big boulder. Yeah. no they're gonna be massive but yeah. we have what i don't know 15 20 oh feet of, but i don't know how high is this going that's actually exactly what i was telling joel like when i got here is like listen you've got a 50 foot grade change if you want to play with it and we can go all the way to the top but at some point what's the purpose right right right, right. like there's no need to go all the way to the yeah. top we can go halfway up or a third of the way up and really create a pretty dramatic entrance into this house, oh, right? For sure. Yeah. From inside, you won't even, you can't even see that top, no. I'm guessing. I mean, I mean, you'd have to come all the way out to the corner of the deck. And there nobody's going to gonna walk all the way up there. I think right. one of the key things I want to do, though, is try to spot that hillside yeah. with some other boulders just here and there so Absolutely. it doesn't look like we have a vein of rock just running through the yeah. one area. Completely agree. So if we look, guys, remember, we're going to be all the way up in here. And the last thing the two of us want to create is this vein of rock and gravel moving through here. We want these wing walls that move way off to the sides way off to the sides, outcroppings here and there. So 
it really looks like this house was planned and designed around this natural looking spring fed waterfall that came kind of out of the hillside. If we can give it some nice twists and turns, we can really help hide the point of origin too, giving it the illusion that maybe it starts further up the property, which is I think the ultimate goal. Oh, absolutely. That, that's always the goal. Try to disguise that, that point of origin, you know, make it look like just like it's a spring fed thing, you know, where you have water seeping out the side of a hillside and then it's going to pick up more and more volume as it kind of moves its way down. So actually speaking of that, are you taking all the water to the very top or you'd take in half of it, a third of it, and then adding more water as you get down lower to have more flow? <laughs> Good question, Ed. <laughs> you, know, you know, right now I've got it spec to go all the way to the top, yeah. but as we're building it, we might say, all right, let's just drop in the third pump, you know, a third of the way up there. Yeah. Because really nobody's going to know what the flow is a yeah. hundred feet away from here. Agreed. So if we want to save some time or we really want to get another waterfall running a little faster, yeah. it's such an organic process yeah. that we have the flexibility to adjust all that sure. stuff. The big waterfall that they really care about is this main one that here because this is the one that you're going to see from the entrance. Yep. From the bedrooms upstairs, you don't see this one at all. Mm -hmm. You're going to see the second one up, oh, right? Cool. So we, I think we really want to get the water at least up into that spot. Yeah, yeah. We might take the third pump and just run a small little tributary up there. Okay. And you talk about th that all the time, yeah. right? Like yeah. water gaining more momentum as it comes further comes down, down the hill. Yep. Yeah. Hey, look, we've got some of these other guys over here. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Mark and AJ. I've already kind of introduced you with 22 years of experience, right? AJ's got three. Three? <laughs> three, yeah. Three. Well, four almost. Almost four. As big as AJ looks, he's only 12. <laughs> <laughs> but Mark, you've been doing this a long time and the importance of us always working with somebody local is So we can sit at the uh, shipping yard. Yeah, detri <laughs> detrimental to like, a, not detrimental. Instrumental. Instrumental is so instrumental to the success of any job site. Having trailers and having guys and having friends that you can pull favors on really just helps keep the project moving. And today was a perfect example of that. Fabric and liner has been missing and Mark, Pretty AJ, cool. one of AJ's friends, yep. figured it out, got some fabric out here and so at least we can keep the ball rolling for a little bit and, and get going. So yep. I think we're out here till Saturday this week. I think if we can get someplace up into where things start getting green, yep. we'd be pretty good. And then we've got some more people joining us uh, in like a week and a half, two weeks. So we'll pull off for a week and a half, two weeks. You've got some family stuff to take care of. Boys going to play football here and there and running around. Stuff that's probably more important than the waterfall in the backyard. But I'm here. Yeah, we're, we're here anyway. <laughs> <I'm here. laughs> All right, let's get that fabric and liner in and see if we can't get these aqua blocks and stuff put together. Oh,